Hello, 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 everyone. Hi, guys. Today we are talking about 15 ways to get food for free or almost free. Believe it or not, there are actually I have like 18 things on my list here, believe it or not. So number one, pick alongside the road. So when we lived in Idaho, we forged blackberries mm -hmm. here in Wyoming. Bucket seven. Raspberries. Montana huckleberries. They got choke berries here too, don't they? Isn't choke what, cherries. Choke cherries. Yep. Choke cherries. I have choke cherries in my backyard that I forage. Rhubarb. Asparagus in Colorado used to grow in the ditches. Mm -hmm. And so you will be totally shocked at what you can forage alongside the roads. Now, first of all, just talk to people you who live there a long your, time. You could go into your neighbor's yard and do their dandelions. No. Well, dandelions, maybe. <laughs> I, I would ask. You never know. <laughs> I know. That's true. They may want those dandelions. That's the only free food you I know. know. <laughs> the next one is look at yard sales. You're oh, like, yeah. what? Yes. Actually, when we were moving, I sold cake mixes that I had got for 15 cents. They were after Halloween cake mixes. They were purple, green, and um, black. And I had about... 50 or 60 of them still and I didn't feel like moving them so I paid 15 cents each for them and I sold them for 50 cents each and guess who I sold them to guys post in the comments who you think I sold them to because I don't think you guys will guess who I sold them to so we'll go on to the next one while I look at the guesses and then we'll come back and I'll tell you who the next one is look at thrift stores for free food or just cheap cheaper? cheap I got a cake, a uh, mug cake the other day for 25 cents on one of the tight top. Well, did that one go out? Yeah, I think the tight wad Tuesday. I got a mug cake for 25 cents. Mm -hmm. I have found food for really super cheap at thrift stores before. Well, the other day when we went to the thrift store, they had a stand outside and that you could put stuff in or take things mm -hmm. out for free food. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. So everybody's saying that I sold the cake mixes to you. Mm -mm. I did not. Mm -mm. So she would the have repairman to pistol because he has so many kids. <laughs> nope. my brother. No. Kids were the ones that bought the cake mixes at my garage. Little shelf. kids or younger kids? Little kids, like under 10, 10 years old and under. My uh, or the, gr the grandparents or parents brought the kids to the garage sales uh -huh. and the kids saw the purple and green and black cake mixes and wanted them huh, for something funny. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, the next one is university test plots. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I, in Colorado, we had, Colorado State University that had a huge horticulture program and there was one place where they probably had 20 acres worth of fruit trees that they were testing and every fall they would just leave all the fruit mm. so I would go take my boxes and go in the evening and collect everything that I could I didn't get a lot I mean I I could only get so much but I would collect them and then it was mostly apples so then I would bring them home and dehydrate them or um, make applesauce in, into applesauce. Well, that's the thing too, is be sure to ask, you know, mm -hmm. when you, before you do this, just don't go start taking this stuff. Yep. But if you ask, do you know, people do it all the time. They really do. Yep. Um, pick people's trees. Now, ask before you do yeah. this. Mike had a friend. She was all excited. Her peaches. Will you tell the story about the peaches, Mike? Oh, it was actually something on the internet. Oh, well, go ahead and tell it anyway. It's your story. I just said that somebody on the internet had mentioned that um, their peach tree had uh, had just when the peaches were coming out, a bunch of people. Well, they didn't. They went out to harvest them, and all the peaches were gone. So she said she was going to put up an eight foot fence around them. So yeah, not so. Great. Ask before you do that, please mm -hmm. don't be rude. But a lot of people want to um, get rid of it because they don't want to have to clean it up off the ground. Yeah. And then when the fruit starts rotting, it smells, it smells like a brewery. And so a lot of people um, want you to get rid of them. But ask first. The other thing is to pick people's bushes. 
Now, when we lived in Colorado, my grandfather had got blackberry starts from Oregon and brought them to Colorado and put them in his backyard. And they basically took over his backyard. But he had tons and tons of blackberries. So some people will have those kinds of things in their yard. Like we have choke cherries. I can't possibly pick all the choke cherries that we have in our yard. And so um, ask and people might let you pick their bushes. And I don't know if you have this listed later or if this goes along with it, but a lot of times people that have gardens and things, <clears throat> you can ask them. It's not totally free, but oh, you can give it away my things. Oh, I won't say anything. What it's, number is that one? It's next. So oh. go ahead. Oh, it's next. <laughs> oh, you turkey. <laughs> it's next. <laughs> <laughs> but what you can do is go over and say, you know, can I rake your yard for you in exchange for some of your garden stuff? Or yeah, can I pull weeds? Can don't I, be a dork and just start rummaging through somebody's garden. No, no. Say, can I help you pull weeds in your garden? Do something like that. And a lot of times people with gardens, they don't mind sharing or exchange something you have extra of that you don't need and ask them if they'd be willing to barter. <laughs> that food. Um, another thing is like my husband did piano lessons and a lot of people would bring us boxes and boxes of food for nothing just when they come to piano lessons. Mm -hmm. And oh, this goes both ways. At church too, sometimes people will bring boxes of stuff for other people at the church or schools sometimes to the excess that they have to just for people yeah. to take and uh, you know, that type of thing. So if you're a gardener and you do have excess, that's really a, you know, we appreciate you guys doing that. Yep. And the next one is to actually garden yourself. Now, depending on how much you spend on your gardening stuff, this could be really close to free or this could be super expensive. So depending on how you do it, but I have always, I have almost always gardened for free. Almost always. Last year I didn't. I put in raised beds and I paid for the raised beds and all that. But even at that, they were $30 each. So it really wasn't anything. But um, grow a garden. You just need a pot. You can use a five gallon container. You can use a Dutch oven. I have um, kitchen stock pots that I grow my, my stuff in. I got one yesterday, a great big pot for a dollar. So go ahead and grow your own food. That's another way to get food for basically free. Yeah, you'll have to pay for water, but you can get soil and the pots and even the seedlings for almost free. And to help get it free, you can sell some of the produce. Yep. Like tar mm -hmm. sold to restaurants and stuff. And you don't need to have huge amounts to sell. You can just sell a little bit and that would cover all your costs for your garden. And last year I put my Black Eyed Susans that I have bazillions of on uh, Facebook Marketplace, basically. And I sold $250 worth and I covered all of the expenses for my raised beds and all my gardening and then some. I had money left over. So um, that's a really good way to help supplement for your food. The next one is school leftovers. So if a mom works or volunteers at the school cafeteria, you can get leftovers that way. But what I mostly mean is the school parties. Now, our demographic of age group is older that they're not doing school parties anymore. But my goodness, when I was doing the school parties for my kids, the amount of left, the, the excess of food in the first place is just outrageous. And then the shocking part is nobody wants to take it home. I know. I was, I've seen I that was happen the in only a lot of person. Situations, yeah. I mean, one time I brought home probably 20 pounds of grapes and I don't know how many cuties and tons and tons of food. So after your school parties, volunteer to take this the food home. Yeah. The next one is church potlucks. Same thing. If there is leftover food, extra food, put, <clears throat> get yourself a couple of plates or take a couple of containers. And a lot of people are more than happy if they have leftover food to share it with other people because they'll make a whole casserole and they're single or something. Mm -hmm. And so that's a great way to get leftover food. And we're not saying always, you always take the stuff and everything, that type of thing. But there's situations where you're going to have extra and you can share it. You know, this works back and forth. And so don't feel 
too prideful or embarrassed or anything about taking this stuff yeah. because Tara will take stuff and she'll bring it home and she'll give it to me, to her brother, to uh, the neighbors and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a matter of just sharing the stuff. Yep. And uh, once people know you'll take it, then they'll start yeah, asking Yeah, they start you. asking you. So yep. I pretty much never reject anything that's given to me for free. That's Why? It, because yeah. it gets people in the habit of knowing, even if I can't use it, I will either throw it away if I don't need it later, or I'll donate it to the thrift store or neighbors or whatever. But I somebody. never, I never, I can't think of hardly any times that I've ever said no yeah. for anybody giving me free. The next one is being the neighbor of a cookbook author. <laughs> our dining and dining cookbooks 40 percent off right now for our mother's day sale that's volume one is the red one volume two is the blue one and then our gluten-free dairy-free edition is our green one yes my neighbors really miss me from colorado <laughs> because i would take and um I would take all my food testing or when I would have a show day or a filming for recipes, I would take all the food to my neighbors. But you, so, yeah. you know what happens. I don't think we give enough credit. credit. When, you, uh, when you share stuff like this and give to others, and Tara is really good about this all the time, God blesses you. Part of this, when people know to ask you, is God blessing you? And so when you reject the free stuff that people have to mm -hmm. give you, you're kind of like turning away a blessing from God in a way because he's honoring the fact that he knows she'll take it and give it to somebody or that she does uh, her own stuff, gives to people. And you're going to find this stuff coming into you. I see a lot of people that are very, very selfish and they, they always say, well, I wish I was so lucky or I wish, I, but they're very, very selfish people. You know, you don't mm -hmm. ever see them being generous and God will reward that and bless you, you yep. know, in that way. The next one is helping friends move. <laughs> Every single time I've helped someone yeah. move, I have gotten way more in freebies than I ever would have cost me working time. Like I remember one neighbors, they moved and I am not exaggerating. We got close to $3,000 worth of stuff. By the time we got a lazy boy recliner, we got a whole bunch of cleaning supplies, a whole bunch of food. They didn't want to move. Um, I mean, a, a ton of stuff. And I said, well, if you don't want it, I'll just take and sell it on Facebook marketplace. If you don't want it. And I said, do you want the money for it or what? No, you just take it. I don't only look at it. <laughs> so I made, I actually made money helping some friends move, not including, I probably got five or $600 worth at least of free food. And I've done organizing. I've gone into friends' um, homes and they've asked me to organize okay. their closets, their kitchens, and they're getting rid of stuff. And they just, they give me all the stuff and everything, you know, from it for doing it. So, mm -hmm. and that again is, you see, you get blessed like that by doing those things. Yep. The next one is when your friend's freezer or refrigerator breaks down and they give you the food. <laughs> I have had that happen before. And thankfully I had room in my freezer at the time, but I have had people where their fridge or their refrigerator broke. And I said, well, do you want me to pay you for it? No, I just don't want it to spoil. So, you know, always accept things when people mm -hmm. are willing to give it to you. If you guys have questions or comments, please put them in the description. Also, please give us a great big thumbs up, please. Next one is, well, mom gave this one away, but help organize friends' kitchens. Mm -hmm. um, you get tons of stuff that way. I watch <coughs> my uh, kitchen nightmare from hell. Oh, excuse me. Remodel. <laughs> um, <laughs> my kitchen remodel is hopefully going to be wrapped up hopefully this year. Maybe. <laughs> I don't even know now. Um, and I've been watching organizing shows and I am shocked at the amount of food people just yeah. throw out. Yeah, it's a lot. Totally shocked at the amount of food that people just throw out. Um, work leftovers. So like work parties, or if you, another great way to get free food is to work 
at a restaurant, Dairy Queen, Qdoba, a restaurant, a lot of those places, I know people who have worked at those place, places and they have brought home pizza after pizza after pizza. They brought home ice cream cakes. They brought mm, home gallons of ice cream. My boys would, my boy would be jealous of that right now. Mm. They have brought home, what's some, oh, subs. So one worked at a sub shop. And so work at a restaurant that will give you their leftovers, their mistakes, that type of thing. The next one is farmers. So like in Idaho, when they go and harvest all the potatoes, they don't get all the potatoes. Some farmers will let you come in and glean is what it's called. Yeah, gleaning. And pick what's left over. My aunt does this in Oregon all the time. She's part of a gleaning club and come um, July, August, and September, she's always going out and getting free food. Mm -hmm. Always, mm -hmm. especially if you live in the Western states that are growing food, it's really prevalent. And so, um, yeah, that's a great way to do it. Nancy said another way is to volunteer at events. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'll give you free food to feed you for um, as a thank you. And so that's the really good way. And another way is <laughs> take advantage of the government's stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> so when COVID hit, they, our town, our school system, and I get this, there are low income kids that, you know, um, this is their only meal or whatever. I get it. But what the school system did was said that they will give you free lunches. I know. Free, <laughs> free lunches for every person in the family. Free mm -hmm. lunches for that. every single person in the family. Now, we lived in a middle class, typical middle class. Probably 0.05% of the people were actually in need in this town. Because it was a bedroom town. There was no stores, nothing. And so people just drove to this um, to this town to sleep, basically, for their houses. Well, nobody was in need in this town. And yet the school was giving away free lunches for every single person. Well, we had six people in our house at the time. So mm -hmm. we got six lunches. And let me tell you, I didn't have to buy apples for months. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, they couldn't even, it was so pitiful because they had so much stuff. They couldn't even find people to take it. And so then I started going at the end of the, it was like from noon to 1.30 or something. So then I started going like at 1.50 and they were just giving me bags of food because I it, would take it. it. Yeah. And I just made applesauce out of the apples. The kids ate oranges. I did not have to buy milk for months. Mm -hmm. I, I had an entire, well, we were trying to get ready to move. So I was letting my freezer to get, go down a little bit, but I'm not kidding. At least half my freezer was full of milk, if not more, probably, probably three quarters of my freezer was full of I milk. Remember that. Yeah. It was insane. Well, they did that too in the small town we lived in where um, my husband's family lived and they didn't, they gave the government gave commodities mm -hmm. what we call commodities. And they still do that. That's another one you can get free. Yeah. Food. It's, and it wasn't for just low income. Okay. Every single person in town received them, you know? And so you could go in then and you could get them, yep. get them like that. When we lived on the Indian reservation, Mike and I lived on, and mom lived yeah. on the Indian reservation. They did the same thing there. It was the same thing. Whoever lived on the reservation, whether you were Indian or not, could go get commodities. Yeah, low well, income or anything. Here's the way I figure it. My tax dollars yeah. are being spent here, especially for the schools. My tax dollars are being spent paying for these schools that I can't use because I'm having to homeschool my kids because of your baloney. And the so government's baloney. Yeah, the government's guys. baloney. <laughs> and so I might as well get something out of it. It doesn't even come close to the amount of taxes I paid for it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, 
really, guys, there are tons and tons of ways. Go ahead and send it, Mike. There's tons and tons of ways to get free food if you really want to. Just keep your eyes on the lookout. Be ready to um, accept free food. Mm -hmm. And like another one that I did while Mike sent me the question was, uh, I had an elderly aunt who lived in a community, <clears throat> what do you call it, senior community or something. And um, they would go to the food bank and the food bank would say, here's your boxes of food for single people. Like every week. Oh, she gets, oh, she gets she tons, got, tons. She probably got an entire full shopping cart load three big banana boxes every week of food. And then her friends got the same amount. And so she would pick, they wouldn't let you pick through. You just had to take this amount because they had so much, they couldn't get rid of it. They just um, said, here you go. This is what you have to take. So she took it. Well, she would pick through and what she had, and then she'd give it to my grandma. And then my grandma would give it to me. <laughs> she has so much. And I ended up between my aunt and her friends, I still had, my grandparents would bring the food over and it would be four or not four. Yeah. Four big banana boxes that filled the back of their car. Yeah. Totally filled the back of their car. And so then I would pick through it <laughs> and then I would share it with my neighbors, whatever we didn't use. And so there are tons and tons of ways that you can get um, free food if you really want to. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, while I get the questions, these videos are brought to you by our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. This is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition, if you are gluten-free, dairy-free. This is volume one, and this is volume two, and they are 40% off right now for Mother's Day. And also, guys, we have our planners in stock. Mom and I are going to Colorado to get the rest of them next week. Did you know we're bringing those back? No. <laughs> <laughs> So we have these in stock right now. They are not on sale, but several people were asking. They are undated. So you can start now and not lose any pages. And don't forget Mother's Day and what I'm not Mother's mm -hmm. Day, graduations and uh, weddings, you know, that type of thing and birthdays. These mm -hmm. these books are really good for those things, guys, like yeah. we've said before. Deidre says, isn't food stamps the same? People pay federal taxes in the system that if one qualifies, shouldn't feel bad yet. No, I wouldn't feel bad about no. it. Where if, if you do, if you are in hard times, you know, yeah. you should get you should get the welfare. Where I have the problem is when people go to food banks and welfare and things like that, and they're driving a new car, they have an iPhone, their nails are done, their toes are done, they're dressed out the wazoo up to the nines they're eating out all the time and then they go to the food bank because they can't that's where i have a problem if you qualify for these things i have no problem no, with that at all that's what they, Use that's it. there for it's there to help people who it's need just it people a lot of people uh i was told one time uh by a welfare gal she said these people they both can work you know they're both healthy there's no reason a grown man you know that was perfectly healthy and that they could work, but they just automatically, she said, it's generational. What happens is like they, their grandparents were on welfare, their, their parents, and they don't know. They just automatically come and do it and don't think, you know, no. to work. Yeah. So. And Carol says, do you have a free community garden near you? Actually, yes, that's a good idea, too. And there is one at Mulligan's. Oh, is there? And so, yes, there's a, a church not too far from us. And um they have a community garden. That's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, also. All right. Jocelyn says, we have such good ideas. We're geniuses. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> we needed to hear that today. Did you hear that, dear? <laughs> yeah, we want to remind Michael of Did that. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, big head syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> big head syndrome. <laughs> Jennifer Cooper. Oh, yes. wow. Good last name, Jennifer. <laughs> I just purchased all three of your cookbooks. I'm so excited to try these recipes and save. You two are very intelligent and aren't afraid to say the truth. I just love oh, that. Thank you, Jennifer. I wonder if thank she's you. related to us. I don't know. Probably somewhere down the line. <laughs> Although we've had, I've had our 
my cousins and stuff watch us. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> and they're like, oh, darn, I saw you. I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Barbara, I'm happy to be here in the chat with my favorite family. Love you guys big time. Oh, thanks, thanks Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Louis says, can't wait for it. I had volume one since 2009. Wow. Wow. That's great. <laughs> Sharon says, I pick my neighbor's pears. He doesn't care. He just mows over them. And I make mm -hmm. pear preserves. And you know what else is good is dehydrated pears. That's oh, really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I did those pear one butter, year. You can do pear butter. And... Pear butter is really good. Pear crisp is really good also. Mm -hmm. So there's some more ideas if you need them. Uh, Denise says, I never see anything for free around here. Probably need to live in the country. Nope. No. We... I did all this stuff living in the city. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. You're just I not opening your Wichita. eyes. Yep. Just open your eyes more. Jay Moore says there's a lot of universities far, not far. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also, um, once it takes time to get started. Once people know you'll accept stuff and willingly and are grateful for it, you know, and that type of thing. Then it starts, it builds up a little bit and it starts, you start yeah. receiving more. Kimberly says I get free food from the laundromat at my trailer park. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's another good thing. Start your own free food thing. Put up, if you live in a town, set up a little box that says take one, give one. And a lot of people will do that. Yeah. I was going to say a, a couple of questions ago about the garden, the free gardens and stuff. You know, if you, if you're retired start a garden someplace if you have an area or know of a church that would give you an area to use and then teach the kids to garden teenagers to work the gardens and then give the food away free you know start some of this stuff yourself and then you'll it'll start coming in mrs t says but don't leave your car and look at church during zucchini season yes <laughs> what is it with people in zucchini <laughs> That's funny. It's That's like good. zucchini has this power over people. They'll throw away half of their food at home from leftovers and stuff like that. But if zucchini comes around, they wouldn't dare throw a zucchini away. Yeah. That's funny. That's good. Becky says we're in Arizona and we found it cheaper to buy produce than to pay for water. Yeah, and then that may be the case. Yeah, that you, may you be the case. You have to yeah. figure this all out. Yeah. Um, um, Antipodia. I have no idea what this <laughs> name is. I'm hoping to have berry bushes when I get into a house. I'm sure my daughter will be ecstatic. Yep. Mm -hmm, I just planted two blueberries last year. Yeah. Although I'll probably never see berries on them. But, you you know, you, you can hope. You can think positive here. Sandy, we always offer people to pick the garden out once we're done. Yep. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Miss T says Dollar Tree has seeds for 25 cents a pack. Ooh. Ooh. You should go check and see. Yeah. Stephanie says, I only do herbs on my decks these days at my age. A big garden would be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yep. But he, every fine. little bit, you know, just even just doing a pot of herbs is, mm -hmm. helps a lot. Karen, my parents' neighbor would go in their garden while they were gone and trade her veggies for moms if they were bigger or riper like cucumbers. She would just leave the pick ones laying there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. <laughs> I think it's time to put up an electrified fence. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you meant her neighbors to. Okay, I don't oh, know. However, you yeah. mean that, but okay. <laughs> Take it wrong. <laughs> Barbara, one fun thing I did as an 11 year old go to chat with neighbors' wives, their children, friends of mine. I would go to get their nails and polished, and they never charged, and I never charged them, so she would do it for them. Yep. That's yeah. The way to do it. Yeah, it's a really good idea. Nancy, All these things. I grow my own garden, plus I have a year round indoor garden. Very good. Mm -hmm. And when uh, Nancy maybe says, I regrow veggies on my sub porch. Yep. Oh. Susan says, free food for the deer. Yeah. <laughs> free food for the deer. I know. I got to get my deer <laughs> fencing up, but I got to deal with um, my house first. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this now. <laughs> Sue says seeds at Walmart are $2.69 a pack. Yeah. Mm. But go to Dollar Tree. They're cheaper. Same seeds. Becky, leftovers from church lunch and apocalypse. Yes. Alicia yeah. is the gluten-free cookbook. That's the green one. Right. Straight. You want me to hold it up for there. you? <laughs> uh, that's our green one. Gluten-free, dairy-free right here. Is it available... In an ebook, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Nancy says, My husband works in a kitchen for just two dollars per year. He is permitted to bring home leftovers in our containers. Oh, that's good. Two dollars per year, 
That is unbelievable. Holy cow. I would think I would never buy groceries again. Mm. Although you'd probably get sick of eating the same things, but still. Barbara, love zucchini. I like making zucchini boats. Yep, I mm. do too. Steph, my mother won't. And we've got a recipe for fried zucchini. It's really good. And zucchini bread in yes, volume one. in volume one. Yeah. I'm frying some, deep fat frying some of these things. Yep. Oh, they're good. Stephanie, your scarf is so beautiful, mother. Oh, she thank says. you, Stephanie. <laughs> Sandy, when we lived in a town, I would volunteer for low-income vegetable sales every week. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to do it. G.S. Thompson says, luck usually does not play a big part. Giving and sharing is what matters. Yep. Yes, it does. Lynn, I have ebook volume one and put it in the files and didn't need Wi-Fi to look at the recipes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Denise, where did you get the raised beds? So I made the raised beds out of a vinyl fence that I found at the ReStore. Mike and I last year put in the raised beds. How many did we get, Mike? Four out of them? I think I paid... Yeah, I think I paid fifty dollars for the entire fence, and I got four huge eight yeah. foot by four foot raised beds. And then I had to buy the soil from the dump sells the soil here. So I filled the bottoms with leaves and sticks and branches, and then on top I put the soil from um, from the dump here. They have a big um, compost facility and so you can buy it there for twenty dollars a pickup load so i got that and it took a pickup load for each raised bed about so um you can easily make them with reused lumber yes mm -hmm. you can although make sure it's not treated lumber except for the bottom one you can do the bottom one is treated but i wouldn't use treated lumber beth there's an app called go good to go where you can get leftover food oh mm, very good that's good for she said a reduced price yeah hmm. sue Hmm, fruit I'll take. Someone else's home cooked food? I don't think so, unless you know they are clean. Yes, that's yeah. up to you, I guess. Denise, two neighbors moving right now. She gave me a snowblower, a rocker, a riding lawnmower, and lots of other free stuff. Yep. Oh, that's Sunshine good. Sunshine says, work parties. I used to do that. No shame. Yep. Mm -hmm. Denise, or a nursing home. That's a good idea. Take a lot of leftovers from the nursing home. That's a good oh. idea. Denise says she used to glean potatoes all the time from the next door farmer. Yeah. She says next door farmer. So I don't know if that was a typo or not, but <laughs> I get it. Can you send me the next one, Mike? Patricia, love being paid in food when I volunteer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nancy, another good way to, oh yeah, sorry. I read that one. What, uh, Wanda says, I get more scared about repairing my mobile home the more I hear the Trump. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Wanda. <laughs> I get more scared about repairing my mobile home the more I hear the troubles you're having. I only have so much money when it's time and won't be able to handle unforeseen things. Did you notice Mike's background picture tonight? It looks like an earthquake in Turkey. So, Mike. <laughs> That's what the inside of their house tell is them looking like. The state of our house at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Tara wanted me to put this picture on to show <laughs> how. I don't know. It didn't look that bad to me, but I wasn't in there for it. But yeah, there was a kind of a big disaster just as we were coming into the show. And I guess Tara's been working on that much of the day. Actually, last night I was, there was something I was going to do before they put the wall on this one wall wiring. And uh, he told me he was going to come Saturday. And then yesterday Tara said, he's coming tomorrow. <laughs> so I kind of ended up taking a lot of time working on that. Late, later last night and this morning so yeah <laughs> it's so mike was working on that until 9 30 last night and then he got up at six o'clock this morning and started working oh five o'clock excuse me five o'clock this morning and started <laughs> working on it some more didn't get it done had to work all morning working on it and then um, I was trying to get, I started painting the living room walls because my living room and kitchen are all one thing. And so I wanted the living room walls to be white too. And actually it's really brightened it up in there. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. Yeah. It's nice. When you get the furniture all back in place and everything, it'll be amazing. Well, so now all the furniture is right in, in the middle of the two feet we had left to walk in the house. <laughs> so, Because I was trying to get that done so my paint doesn't dry out before we go to Colorado. And then just as we were coming out here, yeah, just as we were coming out here, we went to go put the drawers. So I took my island, took the sink out of my island, took the sink and dishwasher out of my island, put two sets of drawers on each side. And then I had rolling shelves that I put in the middle. 
And we went to put the rolling shelves in and they won't fit. Everything is hooked together now. The countertop. The, the epoxy countertop. All that's hooked together and now the drawers don't fit in the space. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. And we tried everything. We tried just pulling them apart. I had Jack squeeze in there and push his feet and his back to see if he could get him to go the eighth of an inch. And they are stuck. So now tomorrow he gets to tear apart the bar. The one finished thing in the, the one finished thing in the kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> and try to get the shelves to fit. What did he say? I said he'll be glad when this job's done. What did he say about he would miss you or something? Yeah. <laughs> I told the contractor, I said, won't you be glad when this job is done? And how did he say it? It was really cute. I don't remember. Something about he said, oh, I'll miss Tar and <laughs> the laugh I get every day or something coming over so here. So <laughs> he just kept repeating as the shelves wouldn't go in. He's so I sweet. am a Christian. I am a Christian. <laughs> it was the end of I the day. I am a Christian. <laughs> I shit. am a Christian. And he kept saying that over and over. Poor guy. We were just like, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, I don't know. We need to denounce the demons in my kitchen. <laughs> Mike, can you send me the next one? <sighs> so, okay. So, it's not coming through. I'll check again. So, Mike. So, that's why Mike's picture Show Mike your picture again, just so everyone can fully appreciate. This is what our house looks like at the moment. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Hmm. So anyway, <laughs> Cheryl says restaurants. Yep. My son works at Subway. He gets a free six inch each shift and oh, brings yeah. home the leftover meatballs instead of throwing them away. My mm. freezer is drowning in meatballs. <laughs> That's yeah. the only thing. If there is a negative, you get kind of tired of so much. But when you that... think about it, so you can smash up those meatballs. Yeah, she could. And make you? them into like mini patties but or spaghetti is, sauce and stuff. My I'm son sorry, worked yeah. at Dairy Queen and I yeah. just had a freezer full of ice cream, ice cream cakes. <laughs> you can't do a whole lot of different things with ice cream cakes, but eat them. You know, How you much just ice cream eat. can you eat? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I know. And he'd bring home a couple four at every, a time, a couple, two to three every night. It was just like, oh my goodness! Yeah. You don't want to complain. No, I didn't want to you complain because I knew someday but... this will end. So I enjoyed every moment of it. But Lena <laughs> says our kids, school kids, were given free food card during the time when that thing was going oh. around. Yep, mm -hmm. I know. Uh, post your comments and questions in the description, guys, and we will answer them. And by the way. Just several people were really upset last night. We aren't not answering your Bible questions. We will answer your Bible questions. We're just not doing bi entire Bible shows. Yeah. So just if so you guys yeah, we know. we will always answer your Bible everyone, questions. Everyone, several people were really upset about <laughs> no. that. So, um, Debbie, when does the 40% off our Mother's Day sale right now to save money on your groceries ends May 7th? May 7th. Sonia, I'm debt free as today. Yay! Way to go. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that's so nice. We need to have a congratulations song. Yeah, we do. We should Let's come see. up with something. Congratulations to you. Congratulations now to we, you. We could be a little more original. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we would, my brain's dead. Oh, I, I can't know. think of any congratulations. Oh, I haven't even right heard now. you the bad news I got today. I thought I'll wait till after the show to tell you what's happening. And in you my blew world. that to me on the show? <laughs> I did. I should have waited. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mother. <laughs> oh, now my eye's twitching. <laughs> did your neighbor show up again? No, no, that would have been easy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sonia. Oh, yeah. I got Sonia. Tanya, <laughs> by looking at Mike's background, you probably should not ask about the kitchen. <laughs> uh, the problem is, it's just, it's just, I think it's just the remodel, the way remodels go. It's just so the way they do. Um, Carol, do you have a, oh, yeah, we got that one. Sunshine, check out Buy Nothing Groups next door. Yes, mm. those are good places. Upcycle. These are all good in ideas, your town guys. On Facebook, mm -hmm. there's a lot of upcycle groups um free cycle did she say that one um there's a lot of groups like that barbara tara Julia, what size zucchini is best for zucchini boats in your opinion and what apples make the best homemade applesauce so 
pretty much any apples make good applesauce. I have not used an apple that doesn't make good applesauce. And as far as zucchini boats, that's just as how much you want to eat. Yeah. I mean, I've made Mike and I, I had a zucchini last year that was this big. And I made one and we just had three or four meals out of it. So now I usually like the gala apples. I, I will use anything too, like Tara said, but I, if I have, if I'm going to buy them, I would buy the gala apples because they're really good for um, eating, mm -hmm. but you can use them for cooking too. They taste really good in pie. So that's why I get that. It covers everything. Oh dear. <laughs> Chris says, bought the books 40% off right now, guys, for my daughter who would never take advice from me, but will take advice from you. Just shaking my head. Okay, so here's a funny story. My daughter refused to use my cookbook. And I do not know how, I'm, if you're on here, Ellie, I love you. But <laughs> every single time she would go into the kitchen and, kitchen and make something, I'd be like, oh, what are you making? Oh, pumpkin bread. I said, oh, are you using her recipe? No, I found this recipe Pump on Pinterest. Pinterest. <laughs> we got a really good one I'm in the like, book. <laughs> what are you making, brownies? Oh, are you using our brownies? Well, of course not. I found this recipe on Pinterest. <laughs> so we need to find out what kind she likes on Pinterest, and then we need to make graphics that will attract her to it. <laughs> She'll be watching for making our stuff. So finally, the last time she was here, she's been moved out almost two years now. Last time she was here, she was like, "Um, Mom, can I? get a cookbook <laughs> you can have 1500 daughter right there <laughs> <laughs> <Take your pick. laughs> so That's my kids funny. don't listen to me either i know mine don't either nope. <laughs> kimberly. it gets worse as they get older too they listen to you even less and Kimberly, canned pears that were seconds and given to me. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's very good. Mm -hmm. I was also given a large tray of sliced onions. She chopped and froze them. Very good. You know what's good to do with the pears? I love making a pear salad where you put a lettuce leaf and lay a pear half on there and take a little scoop of cream cheese and sprinkle it with cheddar yep. cheese. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm. I haven't had that forever. Yeah. Carol wants to know if we've been mistaken for sisters. I love it. She hates it. Because I look so ancient. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Yes, I'm going to throw that, that one in. Yes, people do that. Yes, people do that. Jessica, she says she loves the recipe for bread in our cookbook. We have actually three or four really, really good. excellent recipes in both cookbooks, volume one and volume two, and our gluten-free, dairy-free. If you're gluten-free, dairy-free, you need to use my sandwich bread. It's free on the website if you want to go test it before you buy the cookbook. But let me tell you, my gluten-free, dairy-free cakes and breads are the best, especially the bread. I tested that like 40 times, and I finally got one that was perfected. Tracy, I want to thank you, sweet ladies, for what you're doing, promoting thrift. I started my frugal journey in 92 with the Taiwan Gazette. I have missed having quality source of information. Keep up the good work. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. That, the Taiwan Gazette was actually what inspired me to write the cookbook. She, she said in the third one, I think, that people kept asking her to write cookbooks. And she didn't like to cook and she didn't want to. And so I thought, well, I could do that. Little did I know, 25 years later. <laughs> Angie, thank you for the organic food advice. I watched your other videos pertaining to organic today, and it's nice to not feel guilty anymore. Very good. And I'm glad you, you made that comment because so many people are doing this because they've been guilted into it, you know, or they've been told over and over that this is good for you. And there's not really much truth. Sometimes we're told stuff so many times, yep. we just accept it and follow it because that's what everybody. So I'm glad that that worked for you. Sweet Marks and Berry says, I love the thin slice my zucchini sprinkle with ranch or whatever mood I'm in, dehydrate them and super healthy. Oh, mm, that would be yummy. Dehydrate the zucchini. Yeah, yeah, like the ranch dry stuff. Yeah. Louise says, cameras and high fences will hopefully keep people out. Yes. Mm. Single guy, simple life. What is your opinion of food banks? Now, listen. I think you know. You've been with me long, long enough. time. <laughs> you so, like I said a little bit earlier, listen, if you actually need the food bank, I have no problem with yeah. that at all. At all. What makes me angry is when people are going in with their nails done and their iPhones and dressed to the hilt in brand new clothes, driving an $80,000 vehicle. And they're going to the food bank. And don't give me none of this baloney 
Oh, well, you never know in a person's life. Well, then that person needs to sell their car to buy food. Yeah. I'm sorry. What it boils down to is they're spending their money on other things yeah. besides their food. And we've heard this so many times. I'm $30,000 in debt. Well, and then you start figuring out why they're $30,000 in debt. It's their own darn tin fault. They've just spent it on everything. Well, I don't know. Am I going to, you can only pay for a single person, like, what was it? $300 a month. This gal could only pay, you know, for groceries a month. She and said, well, I'll be eating ramen. I'm going to no. have to. See, that's the mindset. They think that if they can't get everything that they want, you know, it's, it's just really a, a poverty mind. They just don't want to spend their money. On food, they on the necessities. They'd rather spend it on the fun stuff. So, <sighs> don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what simple guy wanted me simple to just guy, get my yeah. ire. Yeah, he, he knows. knows that's why he asked that, <laughs> Darlene. So, simple guy, what is your actual name? You would like to know your name. <laughs> You've been with us so long, <laughs> Darlene. Someone shared with us put fishing line in the in around the garden. Yes, I saw that they took poles and extended just two by twos and oh, extended and it, it no and they put fishing line around the two by fours and when the deer they when their nose hit it they don't like the feeling on their nose and they don't try to jump through it so i'm gonna actually that i am trying that that is the tip that i'm gonna try huh. this year and see if it will keep them out and just get some two by twos and my fence is pretty rickety because we didn't actually put it in the ground. We just took rebar and <laughs> shoved it in there to, for temporary. So we might have to reinforce the fence a little bit better. But that, yeah. this is way off the subject, sort of. But that reminds me, if you have gardens or if you have back patios where the birds build nests and they nest all over, you know, there. My folks took a fake owl. Yeah. I didn't know this actually worked, but they would take a yeah. fake. They took a fake owl and just set it on their picnic table out in their porch no birds would come around whenever that. So if you've got like a strawberry patch or something like that, you might try the fake owls. That would work for raccoons. I don't think so. They're not afraid of owls, are they? Let's see. How do I get rid, of, rid of raccoons, can buy, guys? You can buy fake owls, I guess, at hardware stores or farm. Yeah. And farm then I felt really bad because a bunny had had babies in my garden last year. Had babies? Is that why there's so yes. many been hopping around? Well, yeah, because they're bunnies. But <laughs> yeah, so that was very difficult. I let the bennies get a little bigger and then I kicked them out. Where'd you put them? Well, when I went in the garden one day and they were all gone, I sealed it up. You took their home away I from them. I took their home away from them. Oh my goodness. Oh. And then I kept finding them trying to get back in there. <laughs> oh no. Sorry. You dudes are good enough to leave the nest. You're gone. <laughs> Kind of like my kids. Well, you did. You did leave them there for a while then. So that was. Oh, Ellie's ear ears ah, are burning. Ellie. She missed out. <laughs> we were talking about her. She just arrived. Oh, dear, Ellie. We love you. We get to see you in a few days. <laughs> I bet you can't wait. <laughs> I bet you can't wait. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Colorado next week. My It's my mom's 95th birthday. So Ellie and Tara and I are going to take my mom out to dinner and everything for a special birthday. So that'll be All fun. All right. Eva says, what is the purpose of using a raised bed? So here in Wyoming, the purpose is it, your soil warms up faster. So I literally only have about three months growing season. Some, some years you can get four months. You can get four months. But there are frosts pretty much nine months out of the year. Uh, yeah, nine months out of the year here. And so um, I can't plant until around June 1st. And then our first frosts start around September 15th, October 1st, somewhere around there. So June, July, August, for sure I have for growing. And then September is kind of iffy. But so for me, it gets the soil warmed quicker so I can get my stuff in there quicker. Um, it helps with drainage. It helps um, your plants to have better um, moisture. For me also... I really didn't have a place to garden. My house is on a hill and I really don't have a place to garden unless they terraced everything, which I didn't want to spend the money to do that. So my raised beds are actually on a rock driveway. I took part of our driveway and turned it into raised beds. So that's the purpose for me. Cindy, what soil do you put in your raised beds? So you can put any soil you want. Mine are about three, not quite three feet deep, probably two and a half or so, three feet deep. 
So in the bottom, I put a whole bunch of logs and then leaves and stuff like that. And all those leaves and things will break down and make my own soil. And then for me, I went and got bulk soil at our dump. They bring soil in for people, take it to the dump and it's $20 a load. But a lot of garden centers will have soil. You can use just bag soil if you want, but that's really expensive. So you can just do different things. Another thing with raised beds too, if you have trouble back problems and things like that, it's easier to yep. weed them and that type of thing, especially if you really raise them up higher. Yep. You know, Rhonda, I got the fourth kitty pool planted and have several containers planted. Woo! Oh, wow. good. Yeah, I mean, I went to the place we no longer speak of, <coughs> Home Depot, today to return a bunch of items. Little turds. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not over my anger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, I had a viewer, I'm going to do this. I had a viewer say she works at Home Depot to, to call and complain at corporate. I think I'm going to because it's so ridiculous. Well, this has been ongoing for so long now and so it's much. It's just ridiculous. That... So anyway, they happen to have their garden stuff. And I was like, are you kidding me? We are, I mean, we have major freezes like all through April and May, we have snow in May and they had like half their garden center filled with flowers. Oh my word. I'm like, what are you guys going to do? Well, I know what they do when it goes to snow. They have all the employees take everything and they put it all down the aisles when it mm. snows inside the store, but it's just a mess. I just feel so bad for the garden center people. And kitty pools are good for like a raised bed gardening. Yeah, that's and, what she said. Yeah. Yeah. But I meant when she, that made me think when she said that is check your neighbors out. If they've got pools at the end of the season, you know, that got cracked or something like that, mm -hmm. you can use old ones uh, that are cracked and things. Mike, can you send me the next um, batch, please? Um, Which may have been what you used. I don't know, but that's just Barbara says power. <laughs> Barbara. Power to zucchinis. Great zucchini power. Just add coleslaw. <laughs> You're a recipe and we're good to go. Actually, that is a really good way to, to get it. Yeah. And this year, I think I'm only going to grow one zucchini instead of two. <laughs> Have one zucchini plant instead of two. But um, between yeah. the rabbits yeah. reproducing and multiplying yeah. and the zucchini, it's like... Yes, yeah. Stephanie, you were the other person who had suggested I call corporate. And I don't know that it'll do any good, but I think I'm just going to holler. Um, Barbara says, I understand your kitchen frustration is big time. I see you are better today when you go off, though. I don't know why it's funny, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> the looks on your faces make it funny. What they haven't looks, seen your outfit, have they? What looks no. do I... You should show them your outfit. You guys want okay, to see you've my... got to see her outfit. This is a cute top she has on. Now look at the bottom. Doesn't it kind of match there? It's her paint pants and they Here. match. Here. There. There. See, I'm matching. <laughs> see how she got a top that matches? <laughs> you should see what we have on the bottom sometimes. Well, you just saw it. <laughs> I started walking out the door today. I thought, I better put shoes on today because half the time I have just my slippers that I drive in over here. So. <laughs> Christine, I made zucchini salsa and relish, so I don't have to buy any from the mm, store. There that go. would be good. Do it, yeah. yeah. Amy, we always bring bento boxes to potlucks and bring leftovers home. There you yep. go. Eva, do you need to leave, Mike? Uh, oh. Eva says, I live in Florida and I grow mangoes, pineapples, limes, bananas in my oh. backyard. Sometimes I trade oh. with the neighbors. They have different mangoes and sometimes trade some of their coconuts. Oh, that would be so like nice. Oh. I think I died and went to heaven. Here I'm excited about my choke jury. <laughs> that doesn't even compare. To I'm oh, close. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe we should move to Hawaii. Let's see. No, we're... Uh, yeah, maybe we should move to Hawaii. <laughs> Dorit, I have an app called Too Good To Go. She's in Norway. Yep. I, I bought a bag for 39 kroner today, and I got a lot of cheese that is so expensive that I don't buy it. I got also two big beef that they cost almost 800. Wow. Wow, you did good. That's good. Um, okay, so hold on. We got to see how much 800 is in dollars. Uh Let's see. It is, ooh, $75. Wow, you yeah. really got a good deal, girlfriend. Man, that's great. <laughs> you go. All right, Janet, my son helps the neighbors and they give us produce. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Warm Springs, I haven't heard much of the Turkey earthquake. Did they find any more survivors? I haven't seen anything new. I don't know if they did or not. I never mm. heard anything more after that. Thank you, Julie. She just bought oh. our planner. Oh. Yay. Yes, they, our planners make really good Mother's Day gifts also, yeah, guys. There's a do. lot of moms that really want them. Um, so our planners are undated, so you can start using them now, and you don't lose any days at all. And then if you skip days, you just, you're just you not out anything. Just keep going. Stephanie, can't the area around the drawers be shaved down? No, it cannot. Not the way it, that's not the way it is. Yeah. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it could. How? Maybe it could actually, that's a good idea. I'll have to, so he might be able, so the drawers, there's a spacer because for the drawers to roll, it is sitting out from the, from the side of the drawers. Oh, there is a spacer in there? Yeah, but he could maybe notch out this. the sliders. He could maybe notch out the slide. That might be easier than tearing the whole yeah, bar Yeah, because he was going to tear the whole bar apart. I, th I kept thinking there has to be a better way. That might Even work, putting a actually. jack in there and stretching it overnight or something, too. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bye -bye. my love. <laughs> Have fun at the city meeting. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I'm sure he's he's going us. He's going down to fight for our taxes. <laughs> um, Lee says, uh, can he not just take an eighth off the shelves? No, he can't take an eighth off the shelves, but he could possibly take an eighth off of the drawers on the side if he, it might be easier to chisel that out. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Um, Wanda, I bet the repair people out in the world could write a book on the debacles that go on. Oh my oh, goodness. I, I just can't imagine. I just can't Some imagine. Some of the things they have to put up with. I think our poor contractors are like, is this oh, project now? I so I asked today and we're the longest project they've ever worked on. <gasps> oh dear. And right before he left, I said, well, when you get this done, you want to start on the bathroom? <laughs> He just looked at me yeah. like over my dead body. <laughs> Vicky says doing a remodel really tests your faith. That is an understatement of the century. <laughs> I warned him before they got started, you got to be careful on your marriage, on your faith, on your money and everything else. Patricia, I'm so sorry for the difficulties you're going through. I sure can't understand. <laughs> I think this is just normal, what normal people go through. We just have so much going on and it's just like, I mean... I know we're going to Colorado. No offense, my daughter, if you're still on here. But I was just thinking, oh, my goodness, I just do not want to go to Colorado next week. <laughs> but it might do me good, actually, to go to Colorado next week just to get away from it all and not be sitting in it all the time trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And, like, with Mike's brilliant idea, I was going to work on it today, and I was all inspired. And then the contractor had to move all his stuff in there and stuff over to that yeah, section it's, it's full it's packed full now tools so anyway yeah cindy your fried chicken recipe is amazing oh, it is you. in our volume one right there 40 percent off right now for mother's day so wanda maybe ellie will take the cookbooks from nan <laughs> <laughs> well i saved a set to give to yes. each one of them and for some reason, I missed yeah. Ellie. I don't know why. Well, I don't think she was that interested. I think I maybe she wasn't interested. Yeah. So I didn't. I had a whole set. But of if we die, Ellie, you'll have plenty don't of just them. Just throw them away. Put them on eBay because they'll be <laughs> worth something. I'm telling you, they'll be worth something if we die. <laughs> Karen, yes, their neighbors would trade uninvited. No, yeah, Karen was right. See, I read it right. Mike always thinks he's not here to defend himself. Oh. He always thinks I'm not reading these things right. I am reading these <laughs> things right. Yes, their neighbors would trade uninvited. Yeah. My mom my mom was home once without her car and caught her. <laughs> my goodness, those neighbors yeah. have a lot of nerve. Well, I can't believe how brazen some people are. They really just <laughs> oh, man. Oh my. Z says I live in a cold client Canada. When I harvest my veggies, I use every part of the plant. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. She says try zucchini leaf chips. Okay, I have not tried that. That would be interesting. I might try that and see. Mm -hmm. Chrissy says, my son was mistaken for my husband. He didn't like it much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Faith, what are your thoughts on foraging? Go for it. I mean, as long as you know what you're picking and it's on public property. And if it's on private property, just ask. A mm -hmm. lot of people are happy to have you take it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Tracy says, that's funny that you said that. My 21-year-old daughter went and I went and I went to a rummage cell. The older lady that checked us out commented that I was her sister. My daughter about died. I'm 47. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were all excited. We were getting ready to film. Sumner's wife, Emily, was going to film us today because oh, he was busy with finals. My day. So mom got all dressed, came over. I took the boys were, were um, Jack's best friend's mom is um, not wasn't able to take them for two days. So I had to take Jack and his, his best friend home. And I realized, oh, wait, we have to be there at noon. They don't get out of school till noon. So I took the boys out of school early. They weren't doing anything but messing around. They were all done with their schoolwork. But so I took them out of school early so that we could get going Come home, look up the address, and it's in a town 30 miles away. <laughs> I thought I didn't recognize the name of the church. I mean, we've only been here 18 months, but I was like, well, that church doesn't sound familiar. And I was like, well, okay. That's because it wasn't in our town. So then mom was over here. Emily got here. So we uh, canceled, and poor mom had to go back home, and I kept painting. Yeah, my day just went down down the tubes even more driving <sighs> home. So, Debbie, well, do, okay. So what happened? I can't tell you. It's too long. <sighs> Debbie, oh, I got stuck at. I got. I'll tell this. I got stuck in Walmart. I couldn't believe this lady in front of me. Now, a lot people watch us here. I know, <laughs> but she. Well, I felt bad for her. She dumped her whole purse. I mean, she had a big tote. Even her wallet, all the money fell out of the wallet. And she she was having, we, you know, she, we were trying to help her get it all picked up. And then uh, it was just like one thing after another. She had just two small grocery sacks with all that she was checking out. And I was hurrying, trying to get over to Tars to go to this yard sale thing that we were going to go to. And I was just frantic, but I was trying to be patient. It took 20 minutes just for this one lady to get checked out in front of me. I about died. And it was just like one thing after another. Trying, I got behind a slow truck trying to get there because now I'm really getting behind to get over to her place on time. And I show, walk in the door and she says, this is, we are not going. I couldn't believe it after the whole morning. So, of, it was not It there. wasn't her fault. It was it at really, the yeah, very top. So yeah. somebody must have said something because it wasn't on Yeah, the she other didn't know. One, and these things happen. So it was just ironic that it was like the morning was, you know, one of those mornings. And then to walk in the door and have that happen. So Ellie says, I heard my name, so I have answered the call. <laughs> oh, my yes, love. Yes, that's my daughter. Except now she's uh, headed to the bin store. Oh, she loves going. We'll she have to loves check out the going bins. to the I don't bins know if store. we're going to have enough time when we're in Colorado. We're only going to be there two days, and we got to hit three thrift stores. We got to hit the bin store. We got to have Grandma's mini birthday party. I got to go get my hair done, and then Big Lots. I know. We got to go to Big Lots and Hobby Lobby. I know, and Joanne Fabrics. And Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should. Are you sure we should go? Maybe we should go another day. We'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should. <laughs> okay, back to questions. Sorry. Um, Debbie says if we eat an actual serving size, our food will go a lot further. Yeah. Yes. That's, I mean, you're so right. Mm -hmm. Louise, how do I get rid of squirrels? Oh, you don't. <sighs> I mean, you basically have to get the little tiny chicken wire stuff and just do everything. It's really hard. I have the same problem. Vicky Ramsey show just had a caller said that they could not get ahead on their bills. He made a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year, dude. You got to get it together. That is absolutely ridiculous. He couldn't even pay his rent, and he was taking out payday loans. But see, that's part of what people are doing. They're doing these dumb stuff like the payday loans. I mean, that you, ha I would have to be crawling to death's door. Before I take out a payday loan, we need to do a call-in show. <laughs> we need. I I would, would need. Would blood you guys pressure call medicine. in if we? I need blood pressure medicine for a call-in show. Oh my Could goodness! Could you see us on a call-in show? That would be kind of interesting for us to be on a. Our new shirt is "You've Got to Be Kidding Me." <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Listen. 
I know we're making fun of these people, but I'm sorry. If that's your situation, you should be made fun of, especially if you have a college degree. Well, yeah, if you're making there is that no much excuse money, you that. should be, I would think Using you your had brain. enough brains to figure this out. <sighs> Although, you know, people, they just aren't taught the common everyday stuff anymore. Jay Moore, I haven't figured out the raccoon problem, but use kitty litter for groundhogs. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm just going to have to, I got some free fencing. So I think I'm going to have to take what's left of my landscape fabric around my fence, put the fencing up and I'm going to put up poles with fishing line for the deer and see if that'll work this year. <laughs> put some straw on Michael and have him stand out there all day long for <laughs> scarecrow maybe. <laughs> Amazing Grace. I had a turkey in my garden last year. She was eating the weeds. I told her she could have as many as she wanted. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Turns out it was the neighbor's turkey and oh. she ran away from home. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. That's even better. Wanda, I can't oh, get goodness. rid of mice. I'm on the third type of traps and starting to wonder. So I will tell you what I what worked last year, but it's kind of expensive, is blood meal. It's just dried blood. But a package like this was like $10. And I would use a full package every time I did my raised beds and my flower garden. And you have to put it on every time it rains. Well, I have a sprinkler system, so it would last a few days. And I discovered this at the end of the season last year when I was not about to let them eat my geraniums. But um, yeah, I mean, it works really good. I don't know. I had wondered, now this is kind of weird, but could you just go to the butcher and ask for blood and just pour blood all over your garden? That would be kind of gross, but. It would smell. It would smell so bad. Well, how would it smell any different than dried blood? It would just dry. I guess it would dry. If it's outside, the smell would go away. Might have it would the police at my house thinking there's a crime scene, but, <laughs> you know. I don't know. Just wondering. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Sandy said she saw where someone put the tool around her plants. Yes, that's another one I had thought about was buying tool. But now tool's gotten expensive. Yeah, it has gotten a little more. But if you have a 60% off coupon at Joanne Fabrics, it wouldn't be too yeah. bad. But you can find it, too, at thrift stores. I see tool all the time at thrift stores. Yeah, People buy huge or they have amounts. weddings and they're getting rid of them. Yeah, they yeah. Have huge amounts. So that's a good place to find mm -hmm. tool. Yeah, you can do that. Um, everybody's having mice problems. Yeah, I mean, that that blood meal did work really well for the mice. Um, Daisy says she accidentally tilled up a bunny nest one year. Oh, but well, maybe, that's why it didn't shale run over. She said baby bunnies were flying everywhere. The kids were so upset. We found all the babies and put them safely back. Not a very good garden that year, I bet. <laughs> oh, no. Goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Um, yeah, my dog was actually a good mouser. He was so good. She had two dogs yeah. that were both really they good mousers. They were really mousers. good mousers. So get a Bichon Frigé. And yeah, they're, they're good home. mousers. Yeah. They're almost better than cats. <sighs> Yeah, Sabrina says you should get the lady from Caleb's show who thought $300 would get her ramen. I know, I know, I I think I should do this. I had thought about posting, we have like a community, it's upcycle, but we thought about, we had a community page here in Sheridan and um, I thought about putting on there offering to help people with their grocery bills mm -hmm. in exchange for filming. I don't know, if, and paying for them. I don't know if anybody would do that though. See, she had plenty of money to buy apps on her phone to play games, you mm -hmm. know, but she didn't have the money for the groceries and stuff like that. That's why we sometimes get frustrated with people like doing the food banks and different things like that, because they have plenty of money to do those things. But then they say, well, now how am I going to buy groceries? It's like, I don't, I can't figure out the mentality of this, really. I, unless they were just always giving stuff as they were younger, and mom and dad always took well, care yeah, of them. Well, yeah, think about these are 80s and 90s kids where yeah. their parents and 2000 kids where their parents never told them no. Yeah, they they didn't See, have to work for anything. They didn't have to do chores to get allowance and then make sure they spent their allowance properly and things like that, probably. I don't know. See, Ellie, if Ellie's at the bench store, she probably won't hear this, but she has no idea how lucky she is. Oh, did you 
that I'm her mother and I told her you no. how to do frugal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, it does. But no, seriously, people you don't know. understand you're doing your children an injustice by not teaching these things. And a lot of parents didn't know it because from the 60s and 70s, these parents, they were starting to do that then. Mm -hmm. They were going to work and they just didn't bother to explain stuff to the kids, you know. And so Doodle Two says she doesn't know if it would be legal to spread blood. But if it's not human blood, if it's if it's deer or cow from blood butcher. from the butcher, would it, I don't know. Would it spread disease? That's probably why she's thinking it. See, it, do they do something to the dried stuff that gets rid of diseases out of it? Have, we'll I have to look it, it up. Well, see. I wouldn't think so because once it's dried, the disease can't live because bacteria only lives in moist surfaces. So I would think it would be dead. Mm. I don't know. Uh, what about human hair? Yeah. Except, I mean, I have so much place. I don't, I guess I could start going around to all the barber shops and oh, stuff. Oh, listen, and I get hair, a bucket a day of my hair. Well, I know. So we have a lot between us. We and shed Dave, because, yeah. and because of our chronic fatigue. So, um, Squirrels do their squirrel barking and drop pine cones. Yeah. Dave, Dave yeah. had the biggest battle last year with a squirrel. It was so funny watching him because he's pretty laid back about, you know, certain things. And he, I was staying with him and he come in and he said, man, these squirrels are eating all my bird food. And he, then the, about the third day he came running in the front door and he had this huge bag of bird seed food on his shoulder. He said, I'm bringing this in the house there. He's not going to get any more. So it was like a morning battle with him and the squirrel. It was really funny. Um, we never did. Did I see if simple guys? Okay. I got to go look, hold on. I got to see if simple guy ever said what his, what his name, name is. Was. <laughs> hold on. I got to go. Let me go see. I don't know if I can find it or not, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, so there. Oh, he didn't say. I'm curious now what <laughs> your actual name is. We should have him put his first initial and then everybody guess what his name is. Lynette says, I had my kids from 89 to 95 and we made our kids work for what they wanted. Yes, mm -hmm. mine do too. They have to spend their own money on fun stuff unless it's Christmas or birthday. But, but. but I get more uh, comments on the website with parents getting actually mad at me for suggesting their kids do chores they said no kids should do nothing but play and yep. that type of thing so yep. i know oh, i've known parents who, who their kids literally did no chores ever yeah and it, you, it's just yeah. really an injustice because they're they're not going to grow up and yeah. know how to do and, and it was really sad because responsibility it was sad because then the kids grew up and moved out and mom wouldn't let go it was pretty sad. Yeah. Moms, get a life. Your life is not your children. Yes, you need to sacrifice for them, but your life does not revolve around them in the bigger sense of the picture. I mean, yes, it has to revolve around them when they're little and all that, but you need to let it go. Let go. I'm good at letting go. My kids, they're gone. I've oh, let them yeah. go. I know. I did the happy dance when I went that moved out. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I forgot you're sitting next to me, aren't you? Um, all right. Let's see. So, guys, our Dining on Dime cookbooks, 40% off. Oh, I don't have the link. 40% off right now. The link is in the description below. Um, Kaylin says, besides food banks, we have groups who salvage food and cannot be donated. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Dumpsters is another way to get free food. If it's legal in your city or state to dumpster dive and the store's okay with it, go for it. Yeah. And I know some people who've gotten to know the people at the stores and the store will just set it set out it, there. Save it back, yeah. And if the people don't come, they just throw it in the dumpster. So, I mean, you know. Sometimes getting to know people. We, we used to go get hot dogs at a hot dog place. And every Saturday night before Sunday the next day. And... About the third or fourth time we went there, the guy that worked there, he looked at us and he said, do you, I think you go to our church because my husband played the piano. He recognized us. And he said, he said, listen, if you guys like them, he said, I own the Dunkin' Donuts store. And after a certain time, we have to just toss the Dunkin' Donuts out. So he said, come here. And he told us what time. And he said, I'll give you the Dunkin' Donuts we had left over from 
the day. And so every Saturday we go buy our hot dog and then we get boxes of Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast the next morning the right week. Oh, the Dunkin' Donuts that were actually uh, filled with the stuff coming out instead uh, of a little teensy tiny filling. I love oh, the ones that so have good. the little white, the white Those with delicious. the white powdered sugar and the white stuff oh, inside. inside. I haven't even seen a Dunkin' Donut place for so Lori, long. Lori, the best thing about your cookbooks is number one is that it is very basic for new wives and young women and men. Thank you. 40% you, off right now. Yeah, you know, I was really surprised. I figured that maybe the brides or the uh, just young gals might like this, but the young men love this cookbook. Okay. I was yeah. really shocked about that. Yep. No, Beth, we aren't live on Fridays now. Just, just a special for a Mother's Day sale. Um, we are going live during our big sales now, almost every day, not quite. And so, yes, we do that. Valerie says, I could start a new trend. Instead of pants with holes, I could do paint stain. <laughs> yeah, that would. That's a good idea. Um, Lori says she bought our first cookbook, but it's only been about two months and the book is falling apart. What can I do? Well, email me because it shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. there's something wrong if, with if it. If you got the brand new one. Okay. If you got the brand new one from us and you ordered from us, email me. Now, if you ordered off of eBay and the book is 25 years old... <laughs> I can't do anything for you. I'm sorry. But we had a lady. Sorry. We had a lady actually email me saying the book's falling apart. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Come to find out the book was over 20 years old. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you've more than gotten your money's worth out of it. It's time for a new one. <laughs> You don't go and return your shoes when they start so falling, falling apart. apart. <laughs> and if you do, that's a problem. Um, that is just wrong. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, mm. good grief. Life with Linda says she has the volume one that spirals. She treasures it. Yes. Thank you. Becky says, my dad worked at a mission in the late 70s, and we got Dunkin' Donuts to the mission and us. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Those were so good. Beverly says it's because people live above their means. She said, I live on 27000 a year and I'm blessed beyond measure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Edie says, small game hunters dressing a chicken. There's blood involved. No reason that blood can't go into the garden of compost. No, it won't stink. It'll con uh, coagulate, coagulate and become dried blood. Well, that's what I thought. I wonder if it I went would, to the butcher if it would, would be give interesting just to go ask the butcher and see what he said. Uh, can I have some oh. gallons of blood, please? <laughs> Here in Sheridan, can you imagine going in and asking for gallons of well, blood? Well, I've got all those trays. I could just lay it on the trays and put it in the sun and let it dry. <laughs> dry. I wonder mm -hmm. if any critters would. I was eat just going to say the same thing. I wonder if you had creatures coming to. I don't know. Doodle Tooth says, my kids told me I was the meanest mom in the world because I had chores with no allowance. They got to eat. <laughs> now, I do give my kids allowance. I mean, they have to do some chores just because. But yeah, I did give my kids an allowance because balance. I want them to learn how to manage money and start doing that. I didn't have them do chores because for allowance because... I want them to learn that you're going to have to work and working equals that. Now, there was some things where they just had to do it because, you know, that's yeah. just part of living. But you had different Like levels. keeping the room clean. Yeah, there were different levels of chores, yeah. you know, that you would do. Um, some you just had to basically pick up after yourself. That shouldn't be paid for. You yeah. Know, and that type of thing. But then if you had harder things that you needed done like raking the whole yard or whatever. Now there was some maintenance that we had to do as a family because mm -hmm. we're all a family living in the same house. And so we all help keep maintenance, but there's other extra jobs that they would get paid for too type of thing. Oh, Vicki says, just make sure you don't live in bear country. We oh, do. that's right. We do. Actually, I think I saw some bear evidence in my yard the other day. There was some poop that was pretty big. Yeah, but and I, I don't know what it came from, but last year I saw similar and everybody was telling me it was bear. So I that maybe wouldn't be a bad good idea. That's Shoot. True. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. There's gotta be a cheaper way to keep these people out. But Molly says she gave the cookbooks 40% off right now for a Mother's Day sale. 
for and a hand mixer for a wedding and shower. Oh, that's a great idea. I love my yeah. hand mixer. That's all I use. And Denise says our cookbooks are great for lazy older women like her too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Actually, good. that's partly why I wrote it because I'm lazy because yeah. I was watching all these cooking shows and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Nobody in their right mind uses shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But at the time, <laughs> every recipe had shiitake mushrooms. And I'm like, seriously? That's so, what I was saying last night. You know, all these like Julie Child, Martha Stewart, all these more gourmet type cooking. And there was no good cookbooks with just basic everyday people recipes. So. Yeah. Kimberly says, bears waking up. You have a lot of gear around. So it would not surprise me if you had bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, so we have, we have kind of a valley behind us and I think there's got to be a bear den, den. Well, no, I've walked up and down a lot and I haven't seen it, but I would think there's a bear den. There's a lot somewhere. of water. There's a creek and a pond and everything. But and fish I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Um, for lots of critters down there. Yes. So I don't know, but all right. 40% off right now for our mother's day sale, living on a dime.com guys. We are going to go. The link is in the description below and we do ship right away. So your, your books will ship out tomorrow or Monday, depending on when you order this weekend, please have a good evening and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye guys. Except I have no idea how to shut turn out. it off. Hold on. <laughs> Pause. Okay. Sing, sing a song. Pause, you're not supposed to sing a song. Sing you want me to dance to? <laughs> you got it. You got it. Bye bye, guys. Bye.